Okay, today I want to talk about uh, Apache web server running in Linux, and I specifically want to talk about directory browsing in the Apache web server. Um, I have a uh, CentOS 6 Linux VM um, that you're looking at right here, and I also have a Windows 7 Ultimate uh, virtual machine that's running as well that I'm going to be using um, to uh, test the Apache web server uh, from a client machine out on the network once we get uh, directory browsing set up in CentOS 6 and Apache. Um, I've logged in as root right now and uh, I logged in as root in CentOS because with uh, being logged in as root I've elevated privileges throughout the, the entire time I'm in here and so I'll be able to do things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise or not as easily anyway and have to uh, run sudo commands a lot and so I'm just logged in as root to take care of that. Alright, so to get started, uh, what I'm going to do, the uh, point of this uh, demonstration is to show you how you can uh, turn directory browsing on and off in the Apache web server so that uh, if you uh, ask to uh, pull up a web page uh, from the Apache web server uh, using a directory as opposed to a file uh, that uh, you can prevent the web server from uh, showing you the directory structure uh, in that folder. And so that's the point of this entire uh, demonstration. Um, let's go ahead and uh, verify a couple of things. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and fire up the terminal and, um, and then I'm going to open this up to full screen. I want to uh, First of all, uh, run an ifconfig uh, to get the IP address on this server, uh, Apache web server running on the uh, Linux box. So the IP address of the Linux box is 192.168.142.176. And so that's going to be the IP address of the Apache server as well. Uh, so 142.146. Uh, uh, I'm going to show that I do have Apache running, uh, so I'm going to run a service command, which is service HTTPD status, uh, to run a status on the server. It does tell me that the HTTP daemon, which is the Apache web server, is running right now. And uh, also what I want to do is to show you that I have it uh, configured so that if I restart this uh, Linux box, um, it will survive a restart and Apache will come up automatically. So I'm going to run a check config uh, and I'm going to run um, or pipe that out rather to grep for HTTPD and show you that uh, right now in run levels 2, 3, 4, and 5, the Apache web server is set to come up and start running automatically. Uh, we are currently in run level 5, which is the uh, run level for the GUI. And I can show that by uh, running a run level. And uh, it shows that I had no run level to begin with. Now I'm in run level 5. So when Apache, when this machine is restarted, Apache would come up and start automatically. And that's what you want uh, to happen by default with an Apache web server running on, uh, on Linux. Okay, so now that we've uh, verified those things, um, what I'm going to do is set up two directories in the default location where uh, the Apache web server keeps its files. And uh, the, the default location here, I want to change a directory to that location, is var www.html. Okay? And I'm going to run a listing right now in that directory, and you can see uh, there is nothing in it. So if I run an ls minus al, uh, there is actually nothing in there. There's no index.html file, there's no directory structure or any of that. So if I go right now out to my Windows 7 machine and I run uh, an IP address of 192.168.142.176, what I expect to find is the default uh, page or test page for the Apache web server powered by CentOS, and this is exactly what I found. Okay. All right, so let's uh, go back out now to the Linux box. And um, what I want to do is I want to create those two directories. And so now that I'm in uh, uh, var www.html, I'm in the HTML directory, and I can show that by running a print uh, working directory. Um, 
what I want to do is create those two directories. And so one of them I'm going to call uh, directory on and one I'm going to call uh, director, directory browsing off. And so uh, let's do a make dir uh, directory brow on. Okay. And then I'm going to make a directory called directory brow off. Okay. I can type. Okay, so one's called directory brow on, and one's called directory brow off. Okay, in addition to that, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, also create some files within each of those directories so I can present the directories in a browsing situation if I wanted to. Uh, so let me change directory here to directory brow on. And then I want to create three files. Okay, so I created three files, uh, touch c1.txt, uh, c2.txt, and c3.txt in the uh, directory brow on directory. And now I want to get out of that, go up the directory tree and to the higher level, and then get descend back into the directory uh, brow off directory. And I want to create three files within there as well. No C one dot txt, uh, no C two dot txt, and uh, no C three dot txt. All right. So uh, now I've got three files within each of those directories. And uh, at this point, uh, what I want to do is I want to um, uh, go out of this directory back to the HTML directory. Uh, which is var www.html, and I want to create the index file that will replace the default index file in Apache. And so I want to do a vim index.html, and I want to uh, insert some HTML code. And uh, I want to do an h1 tag and say this is the default web page in Apache. And uh, I want to um, do a paragraph tag here, and I want to do a ref tag, a reference tag, a href equals. And since I'm in the directory HTML, when where the browser uh, directory browser on and directory browser off is located, I don't need to put any kind of path statement here. So I can just name the file, it's the folder rather itself. So I want to put one link in here is uh, directory brow on and forward the slash uh, and then close that tag and put directory browser browsing on close the a tag do another paragraph tag here and then do another reference tag and Put in the directory brow off directory, and then directory browsing off, and then close the HTML tag. Okay. Uh, and so now let me go ahead and uh, right quit the file. So now I have that index file set up. Uh, and <clears throat> the file that controls um, directory browsing uh, within um, the Apache web server in Linux is a file called httpd.conf. And that file resides in a folder called etsy. Uh, a subfolder called httpd and a subfolder called conf. So if I go inside that file, let me, let me change directory to etsy httpd conf, uh, and you can see that if I do a listing on that file, 
on that uh, folder rather, you can see that there is an httpd.conf file there. That's the configuration file that Apache uses to control every, pretty much every aspect or facet uh, of Apache web server. It contains over a thousand lines uh, of text um, that controls the Apache web server, so it's pretty documented, well documented. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy that file before I do anything with it so that if I happen to mess that file up in any way, I can go grab the backup file and restore it and uh, get back to where I was. So I'm going to copy that file with a cp command, httpd.conf, and copy that out to httpd.conf.org. Um, oh, cp. Uh, let's see here, cphttpd.conf to httpd.conf.org. Okay, that, that should work. All right, so now let's do a listing uh, of that, and you can see that the two files are there. So I do have now my original backup of the uh, httpd.conf file. So now, at this point, I can get into the uh, configuration file and show you exactly where the directory browsing is uh, uh, controlled within that file. So let me do a vim httpd.conf and that's going to open the file and uh, let me scroll down in this file to the location uh, where directory browsing is controlled. Okay, um, it's about line 310, 312, something like that. It's right in here. There's a directory statement here uh, in with the forward slash var www.html, which is the default location where Apache Web Server keeps its uh, website uh, web files. Um, so this is going to this directory statement is going to apply to every uh, to this folder and to every folder beneath that. Uh, we do have those two folders uh, beneath HTML, which is the brow directory brow on and directory brow off. So what I do here will also apply to those two uh, and to every other, uh, even index files that are within that. So um, right down here, there's an option in this directory called options indexes follow symlinks. This is the part right here that controls um, how the Apache web server uh, looks at um, folders and files within this default location. And right now, believe it or not, um, the Apache web server is set up to have directory browsing turned on by default. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, come down uh, and I'm going to turn that off uh, by um, taking that indexes out of that. So let me come over here and take that out. Okay, so now it is removed. And so let me uh, come on down. And this, this is the end of the directory statement here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now be more specific about um, this. I'm going to get outside of that first directory structure and I'm going to create another directory structure uh, that adds uh, that option back in only for the directory brow on because I want directory browsing to be on only on that directory and so I'm going to uh, create a directory and it's going to be um, let's see var h www.html and directory brow uh, on forward slash and then uh, put the parentheses in there as well. So it's directory uh, var www html directory brow on and then I'm going to come down and uh, tab over and add the options uh, to add back the uh, the statement which controls the the browsing which is indexes and I'm going to do the follow symlinks as well okay and then I'm going to do the close the directory statement okay so now I have another directory statement with the options underneath uh, here 
that tells it for this particular location and any file or folder underneath directory brow on um, the uh, you'll be able to have directory browsing turned on okay so I'm going to go ahead and save the file so let's see uh, I'm going to do a uh, right quit get out of the file now that I've uh, updated the configuration file one of the things you have to know, uh, or that you should know here, is that any time you do that with Apache Web Server, you have to restart the server in order for the file to be reread. So I'm going to do run a service httpd restart command to restart the server. And I didn't get any errors here, so I should be good to go. Uh, and so now what I'm going to do is go out to uh, the Windows 7 Ultimate Machine and I'm going to type in 192.168.142.176 and uh, that should take me to our new page uh, and it does this is the default web page in Apache the directory browsing on should be on so if I click on that um, neither one of them work so I gotta figure out uh, what happened so let me go back and take a look at that Okay, what I discovered is, is uh, I had added the directory statement here with a capital D for directory brow on for the folder, uh, and uh, that is not the case here, so let me go ahead and fix that. Um, and so let me do insert here, and I want to get rid of the capital D and make that a small d. The folder itself is a small d directory brow on, not capital D, so that makes a difference. So now that I've done that, let me go ahead and um, right quit the file. And uh, so now let me restart the server one more time. And that should restart the server. And it does. And so now let me go back out to with the Windows 7 machine. And let me do a Control F5. Uh, and then go ahead and click on the directory browser off. And, and it doesn't let us go into there the directory but it should let us go into here and it does so that was the problem uh, so now we're looking at the index of directory brow on okay so this shows that by updating the httpd.conf file and uh, issuing a statement a directory statement with options to turn indexes on for directory brow on but to leave them off for directory brow off will allow us to descend into the directory browser uh, or turn directory browsing on and descend into the directory rather of directory brow on while not being able to do that for directory brow off.